Hello everyone, welcome to another arena run. Alright, it's been a while since I've played. In fact, I'm in the sad position of having racked... Whoops, wrong button. I'm in the sad position of... Ha Wait, that is the right button. Yeah, never mind. I'm in the sad position of having racked up all three of my daily quests. They've been sitting here. And I can't collect any more. It's very, very sad. I've neglected my cards. I need to blow off the dust and, uh, yeah, let's get cracking. And I've promised that... If a Warlock is in the selection, in my arena run, I'm gonna take it. So, let's see if we get a Warlock. Well, I guess I'm going Warlock. Gul'dan. Gul'dan. However you pronounce it. Okay. So, I've never played a Warlock before. I find them to be a very interesting class. One based around... Well, I don't know, it's usually based around self-harm, isn't it? Taking your life to do stuff. Often with a lot of early pressure, because of things like flame imps. Yeah. But, again, I've not played them before, so we'll see how this goes. This might end in misery. They have the interesting hero power of being able to take two damage and draw a card. So they usually end up with a lot of cards. Okay. Give your opponent a mana crystal for the arcane golem. No thanks. I don't want to be doing that ever. Felguard. I'm not entirely sure what that does. Taunt, battle cry, destroy one of your mana... Ooh. Destroy one of your mana crystals. Uh, you know? I'm totally willing. Just like I face tank stuff all the time with classes that have weapons. I'm totally willing to take damage. To achieve better stats or to draw cards or whatnot. But I'm not willing to destroy my, my mana crystals or give an opponent a mana crystal, so I'm going to take the Emperor Cobra. Hopefully that's not a horrible idea. Hmm. Well, the Acolyte of Pain is not particularly really needed, I would think. Because I'm very likely to end up with a lot of cards, because again, my hero ability, my class ability allows me to draw a card. So... I'm going to go with Fen Creeper. Okay. Sense demons. Put two random demons from your deck into your hand. Immortal Coil. Deal one damage to a minion. If that kills it, draw a card. Hmm. Alright, so Sense Demons is essentially just a two card draw for three. But it only applies to demons. I'm not entirely sure what qualifies as a demon. I'm not even sure what demons are out there. But uh, Mortal Coil is just nice. There's going to be a lot of situations where you can kill something. For only one damage, and if that kills it, it draws a card, so that's... Yeah, it's quite nice. I think I'm going to go with that. The Jungle Panther is also very nice, but... Okay, so... Alright, definitely not the Oasis Snapjaw. Uh, summoning Portal can be extremely, extremely powerful if you can keep it alive. That's the hard part, keeping it alive. You really need to put it behind a Taunt Wall or something like that. Because this can allow you to get out so much power onto the board, it's not even funny. But you gotta keep it alive. Dread Infernal deal one damage to all other characters. Could be good. It could save you if you put it out in a, at a time when you don't really have any... Anybody out there. I could do a lot of damage. Like if they have a... If they've just flooded the boards with one costers, for example. I could be very nice. So... Ooh. Okay, I'm going to go with the Dread Infernal. Even though the Summoning Portal sounds awesome. It sounds awesome in theory, but... When I've seen people play it, or when I've seen people have it in their... In their decks and arena runs, what I've noticed is that they almost never actually get to really use it. Because they usually can't protect it, it usually dies. So I think the Dread Infernal has... A better chance of getting used. Hmm. This is not a very good selection. I don't like the Gold Shire Footman, I don't like the Silverback Patriarch. Uh, the Worgen Infiltrator is actually pretty good. It's pretty good. I mean, it's kind of like a removal spell that you can't really use as soon as you play it. It's okay. I mean, it just sits on the board, so it can be used to... You know, they, can, they have to play around it. 
because they know that there's two damage sitting on the board that they probably can't touch unless they have some sort of an AoE. So, I'm gonna go with that. Okay. Well, this is an easy choice. I don't like either of these two cards, and the Blood Ip is very good. It's very, very good. It has stealth, and your other minions have plus one health. Very powerful card. Really good. Oh. Another pretty easy choice. Flame Imp. Yeah, so this is one of the self-harm parts of the uh, the Warlock. Deal three damage to your hero, so you take a bit of damage, but... A 3-2 for one is... It's just amazing. That's great, and I'll totally take the damage for it. I'm thinking if I keep taking... Like, if I keep getting Flame Imps... Yeah, okay, so Dread Infernal is a demon. Flame Imps a demon. I'm guessing the Blood Imp... Yeah, also a demon. Yeah, so they, they're very low costers, so I could get a lot of them out, but to get them out, I need to have them. So I'm starting to think Sense Demons is actually a good idea. Of course, I'm not going to take it now. Definitely not over Flame Imp, but if I see in the future, I might. Well, <laughs> another easy choice. Another Flame Imp. I'll take it. Okay. It really wants me to have Flame Imps. Do I want three? <laughs> I don't know if I do. Demon Fire. Deal two damage to a minion. If it's a friendly demon, give it two two instead. Ooh. I'm not sure how much self-harm I want to do. I mean, three Flame Imps is nine damage to me. That's a lot. Flame Imps allow you to get some early pressure in. But I'm not sure how much you want to use them late game. I, I don't know. Hmm. I, all right, I already have two, so I'm going to go Demon Fire. Okay. Crazed Alchemist is... It's okay. I mean, its basic stats are just mediocre, but the Battle Cry can be very good. In certain situations, it can actually be used to kill a minion. For example, the... Uh, the Summoning Portal. Or whatever it's called. Which has zero attack and four health. It swaps the attack and health of a minion, so if you use that on something like that, its attack, which is zero, will become its health. So it literally kills it. And you can do some other crazy stuff with it. So situationally, it can be pretty damn good. Imp Master can be good, but Defender of Argus is just really good. Yeah, and I have no four costers, so let's go with Defender of Argus. Alright. Eh, I don't want to do Acolyte of Pain. Cobalt Geomancer. Spell damage plus. That would affect my Demon Fire. Lord of the Arena. I don't know. It's between these two. Cobalt Geomancer or Lord of the Arena. Do I want a six coster taunt? I don't think the spell damage at the moment would be very useful. I only have one card that would actually benefit from it. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 never mind. There's Mortal Coil. Okay, let's go with the Kobold, in that case. Don't care for the right two cards. Chill and Yeti is just a very solid card, and I only have one four coster, so let's go with that. Hmm. Another Mortal Coil. Definitely not the Magma Rager. Direwolf Alpha is... It's okay. I mean, it's especially good for a hunter deck, because it's a beast. For my deck... Eh. I mean, it's a solid card, I think. But I like this because I have a lot of low costers. A lot of powerful low costers. And this can get me card draw. As well as being a little bit of removal, and c combined with my Cobalt Geomancer, can actually do two damage. So let's go with that. Hmm. Ogre Magi or Stormwind Champion? Let's go with the Heavy Hitter. Alright, Mind Control Tech. Don't care for it all that much. Defender Vargas, once again, solid card. Ravenholt Assassin, damn good card. Another Heavy Hitter. Do I want another one, though? I don't know if I do. I don't, with all these Flame Mims, I might be playing like a... What kind of a deck am I building here? Am I building a Rushdown deck? Do I have the stuff for that? Maybe.
Thing is, I already have two four costers. And only one seven coster. Let's go Defender of Argus, though. Okay, this is interesting. Sacrificial Pact. Destroy a demon. Restore five health to your hero. Ew. No. I, I don't care for restoring health to your own... Your own character. I don't care for that that much. Uh, let's go with another mortal, mortal Coil. It's a lot of weak removal. But it's also card draw. Potentially. Ooh, Succubus. Another sort of self-harm or self-loss card. Well, Dread Corsair is not very good for my class, because I have no weapons. Goldshire Footman, I don't care for, so let's go with the Succubus. Hmm. Murloc Raider, no thanks. Raging Worgen. Can be damn good. I don't have any reliable way to activate it. Although I suppose if I really wanted to, I could use... I could use Mortal Coil to activate it, which I don't know if that'd be a good idea, but I could. And of course, you could always activate it by attacking an enemy minion. Alright, Ancient Brewmaster. Do I have any good battle cries that I could really use with that? No? You could combo with Defender of Argus. So you can get another plus one, plus one bonus. That's kinda it. But I do have two of them. Alright, well I have three, three, uh, three, four costers. How many three costers do I have? I only have one three coster. Let's go with Raging Morgan. Shadow Bolt, that's just solid removal. Deal four damage to a minion. Let's go with that. Hmm. Mana Wraith is weird, I don't want it. I don't like weird things. Actually, no, I'm kidding. I love weird things. Pine Size Summoner, the first minion you play each turn costs one less. Can be very good, of course, only if you can keep it alive. If you can't, it's, well, practically useless. It's a 2-2 two -two for 2. Which is crap. Do I have a lot of taunt? Well, I could have a lot of taunt because I have defend 2 Defender of Argus. I've got my Argi group. I have a Fen Creeper. Aside from that, not so much. Hmm. It's either that or Stampeding Kodo. Which is actually a surprisingly solid card. It's essentially a removal spell. Of course, it only applies to things with two or less attack, but the chance of being able to get something with two or less attack on the board at some point with this is pretty damn high. So the chance of it two for one is extremely high. Do I want more two costers? I have a Succubus, a Copal Geomancer, and that's it. I also only have one five coster. Let's go with the Stampeding Kodo. I want the removal. Wisp is terrible. Fen Creeper, I already have. Do I want another one? Not really. I feel like I kind of have my taunts covered just with the Defender of Argus's. So I'm going to go with the Dark Iron Dwarf. Ooh. Ooh. These are all kind of good cards, although Frostwolf Warlord is probably the least good one here. I mean, it's kind of good for my my setup because I have a lot of cheap coster. Cheap costing ones. A lot of Blood Imps and Flame Imps and stuff. Which is stuff that can remain safe on the board. Uh, at least the, well, at least the Blood Imp can, and the Worgen Infiltrator. So they're probably going to stay around on the board unless there's an AoE. Which would add one to the stats, but still, since Demons and Shadow Bolt is probably what I should go with. Which one? Do I want removal or more demons? I kind of want sense demons. Because if I get that, I'm going to get a bunch of imps. Which is super, super awesome. But... Hmm. This is hard. How much removal do I have? Well, I have... I have three mortal coils, which is very weak removal, granted. But it is removal. And I have the Stampeding Goto, and I have... I already have a Shadow Bolt, right? Yeah, I already have one. So I have a moderate amount. 
and I have no card draw creatures whatsoever. Hmm. <sighs> this is really hard. What do I need more? Removal or cards? I'm gonna go with removal. Ooh, soul fire. Deal four damage, discard a random card. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna be card starved at this point with all of these discard card things. On the other hand, do I want another, another six coster? Not really. I'm gonna soul fire. Yeah. Drain life. Uh, well, it has a heal that I don't really care about, and otherwise, other than that, it's a fairly weak removal spell. I don't really care for it. Elven Archer. Elven Archer. Uh, I already have a lot of one-costers, so I'm actually going to go with the Dark Iron Dwarf. Sacrificial Pact. Don't care for Actually, I hate all of these. I hate Nightblade. Magma Rager's just gonna die. I guess I'm going with Sacrificial Pact. Ooh, Voidwalker. Very nice. 1-3 Taunt that you can get out on the first turn. Very hard to remove. Super early on, so it can be used to protect your Blood Imps. Or, not your Blood Imps, your Flame Imps. Yeah, let's go. Let's go with that. War Golem, 7-7 seven, seven for 7, don't really care for it. Nightblade, don't care for it. A 4-4 four, four for 5, which is terrible. And it only deals 3 damage to the enemy hero, which is not good. Let's go with the Cobalt Geomancer. Gonna buff up my Mortal Coil. I'm, I'm thinking my deck is going towards... Attempting to buff up my spell damage so that my... Mortal Coils can do a lot of damage. And then I guess get early pressure out with my Flame Imps and stuff, and then attempt to... Just keep the a taunt wall up to protect them, I, I guess. We'll see how this goes. Hmm. Void Terror. Destroy the minions on either side of this minion and gain their attack and health. Huh. That could be interesting. Do I want that? I don't know if that's really a good thing. Obviously you're not gaining any stats, you're simply putting them all in one place. Instead of having them spread out, which means you're more vulnerable to things like hexes and... and polymorphs, but you're less vulnerable to AoEs. So, does it really work out to be a good thing? I don't know. On the other hand, the Demolisher is just a solid... It's a really solid minion. Especially if I can keep a taunt wall up. Yeah. Let's go with the Demolisher. <laughs> I'm not going with the angry chicken. Screw you, chicken. Nobody likes you. Enrage, plus five attack. Yeah, and if you do one damage to it, it's gonna die. Gotta buff it up first. That thing's a joke. It's gotta be a Zero Drake. And it's a little bit of card draw, too, not to mention a decent creature for 5 cost. Plus, its spell damage was gonna help with my Mortal Coils and other removal spells. Or other removal spell, I should say, since I only have one other. The. What is it? Shadow. Oh no, never mind. I have two Shadow Bolts. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, last one. Arcane Golem. No. Abomination. Weird. Siphon Soul. Destroy a minion. Restore four he uh, three health to your hero. Okay. So it's basically a super expensive sort of hex polymorph thing. And it's more expensive because it's a heal. Not to mention it does simply destroy it rather than actually leaving something on the battlefield. As a hex and a polymorph does. Well... It does give me super removal. Let's go with that. Okay. 
Is it a good deck? I don't know. I certainly have a lot more low costers than high costers, so I guess I'm going for a sort of rush down type kind of thing. I think my basic play type is going to be get as much pressure out as possible, my flame imps and all that stuff, all my low costers. Get some plus spell damages out so I can get some some nice removal from my mortal coil, not to mention card draw, to keep applying pressure. And then protect all of those my damage dealing things and all of my spell damage pluses with taunts. Of which I have a pretty good amount. Especially when you consider Defender of Argus. Alright. Well, this is my first time playing Warlock. Let's go. We shall see. Who is my first opponent? You'll face the mighty noob warlock. And you will probably win. Because I've never played warlock before. Come on. I know there's someone out there. I know there's some. There we go. Marsidious. Ooh, Voidwalker. Very nice. Holy crap, this is a good starting hat. I don't want Dread Infernal or Soulfire, but Voidwalker and then Flame Imp? Hell yeah. This... This is actually an amazing starting hand. Ugh. That's not what I wanted. Still, though, turn one, I can Voidwalker and protect it with a Flame Imp. I mean, uh, Flame Imp and protect it with a Voidwalker. That is an amazing start. Greetings. And that is early pressure. I, I couldn't have asked for a better starting hand with those two, although the rest certainly are uh, absolutely terrible because I can't play them for a long time. But still, that is very nice. You know, take candle. Oh, I take candle. I'm gonna take candle. Hmm. Do I want to kill you? It is a plus spell damage. I don't know. Do I want... I... Mm. Possibilities. I actually need more cards because I really don't have much to play. So I'm actually just gonna... Apply early pressure. And draw a card. Ah, I still don't have any three costers. I hope I don't regret that spell damage thing. I'm hoping they don't have anything this... Priests don't have anything this early that could really do much with my spell. Yeah. Okay. I don't think they're gonna have any spell damage stuff. I don't even know if... Do priests even have, like, spell damage stuff? A lot of it? I don't even know. Alright, let's draw a card. <laughs> Another Dread Infernal. I have so many low costers and yet I'm getting all the high costers. Alright. Early pressure. Took two turns to make their way through my Void Walker. Copy two cards from your opponent's deck and put them into your hand. Ooh. Well, they're gonna have some powerful stuff. Looks like it's gotta be Dark Iron Dwarf. That or Hero Power, but that's not a good idea. Okay. Well. I think I'm just gonna suicide my worgen. Yeah, okay. There we go. Want to protect my investment. The buff that I just gave the flame imp. Otherwise, I would have just used their Cobalt Geomancer against it and killed it. So, next turn. Five costers. I have a lot of uh, a lot of things I could do. Stampeding Kodo to remove some of the two or less attack. Azir Drake. Okay. Well. Well. 
If only you had one less attack, you... You bastard. <laughs> hmm. Alright, I'm pretty sure I know what I'm gonna do here. So many possibilities. Yeah, I think I'm gonna suicide my flame imp. What else could I really do? Not much. Yeah, I'm gonna suicide it. Get out of my way! Going right for the face. Well, I've actually been very successful in applying pressure, which surprised me. I didn't know I'd be able to pull it off, but I have. Alright, next turn, six mana. Dread Infernal, if they play a lot of small stuff, I suppose. Uh, not small enough. Ooh, hmm. Ow. That hurt. Bring me steel. Son of a bitch, now it's gonna die from the Dread Infernal. <sighs> Alright, what the hell do I do now? Hmm. <laughs> okay. Let's put me in an awkward spot. I think... I uh, I don't know if this is the right play, but I think I want to wipe the board. Kind of, or get close to it. So... Use up my damage there. Let's kill you. And let's get rid of almost everything. Not sure if that was the best play, but it does leave me with a 6-6 six, six on the board, and they only have 8 health. Didn't take out my Dread Infernal. Run both into it. Alright, fair enough. Still, 2 for 1 though. Pretty good trade. Okay. 5, 6, 7, ooh. I think Chill and Yeti and Raging Worgen. Yeah. Just get a lot of stuff out there. I mean, they have to respond to it because they're so low on health. And if they put out something big and nasty, something with a taunt. In fact. <laughs> okay. Well played. I was thinking if they played a big taunt, I could always just siphon soul to kill it. And then I could enrage my Worgen with the Mortal Coil. Sweet. That went far better than I thought possible. One win. Alright, I'm on the road to three wins. Once I get to three wins, I don't even care. I'm happy. Yeah, that Mortal Coil play would have allowed me to get, what, eight damage out of the Raging Organ, I think? Buff, doesn't it buff it up to a four? A four damage with with Wind Fury? I think so. Interesting. I don't think I want the Shadow Bolt this early. I know I don't want the Storming Champion. Mm. I don't want two Cobalt Geomancers. I'll take one. Do I want the Shadow Bolt? What's gonna have four damage early on? Hmm. I'm gonna keep it just because I have the Cobalt Geomancer. Oh, okay, Flame Imp. Very good. I wish I had more Void Walkers. I think I've only got the one.
Yeah, let's just get the flame imp out there. All right, demon fire can be used to turn that into a 5-4. If only I had some way to do one damage to you, you stupid Bloodven Raptor. Did mortal coil you. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna go. I, I think I'm gonna go super aggro. I, I feel like uh, I could buff this thing up and just start doing damage. Uh, should I? I think I will. You wanna attack, attack my flame imp? Go for it, you're gonna die. And it'll still be alive. If I can just get 10 damage out of this thing, it's gonna be nice. Well worth it, I think. Unless you have something that does... Oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> well played. Alright, not as much early pressure as I would've liked out of that, but oh well. Just Cobalt Geomancer. I could coin Hero Power. Doesn't seem worth it, though. I don't... No, that's not worth it. I think I'll save it for the Dread Infernal, or maybe the Stormwind Champion or something. Oh shit! The m oh no, the Mortal Coil! It's buffed from the Cobalt Geomancer. Oh, I could have killed it. That was dumb. And now it's not buffed. Fuck. I missed it. I missed it. No. It's okay, though. I could mortal coil that. Of course, it would have been much better to do it on the Iron Forge Rifleman. Ah, I got used to that spell damage buff. Yeah, I'm just not very used to it. Alright, I'm gonna do this. Let's just see what I get. I can always coin Chill Wind Yeti. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna coin Chill Wind Yeti. <laughs> Spell damage buff. That's exactly what I got it for. And I forgot that it had it. Or, I didn't forget that I that I had it. I just forgot to reevaluate my cards after playing it. Nicely played. Alright, I'm kind of losing the early pressure. And by kind of losing it, I mean completely. <laughs> Shadow Bolt's a bit of an extreme reaction to a Argent Protector. Alright, let's just do this and see what I get. Demolisher. Hmm. Uh, I'm just going to play the Demolisher. Right, next turn, I can play the Dread Infernal, or I can play a combination of Flame Imp and Mortal Coil and Shadow Bolt if something big and scary comes out. You love my new recipe. Oh, okay. I think I'm going to be Mortal Coiling. Oh, Shadow Bolt could kill the Dragonling Mechanic. Or I could Red Infernal. So many possibilities. I wish I had a little bit more mana, but then again, doesn't everybody? Let's do this. Let's see what I get. Okay. If 
Do I really want to kill it with a Shadow Bolt? I kind of do. Three, four, five. Hmm. So many possibilities. Alright, gonna take that out. Organ Infiltrator or Draw? Let's do Organ. Yeah, I'm not gonna play the Flame Imp because it's just gonna die to the 2 2 Crazy Alchemist, which would mean that it would cancel out my more powerful card, but I will also have taken damage, which is not a very good trade. I want to protect it a little bit, get some more value out of it. I need some taunts. I haven't gotten any taunts or Defender of Argus's or anything. Yeah, I've definitely lost the. I've definitely lost the early pressure, no doubt about that. Which is what my deck is kind of built around, so that's not good. Oh, great. Ah, I barely know the secrets. Barely. Right, so I pretty much have to kill that with the my Worgen Infiltrator. That's pretty much guaranteed. So many Okay, I'm think I've got a plan in here in mind. All right, it's the yeah noble sacrifice. God damn it! All right, that's not terrible though, because I can do this. Thank you. You're welcome. And then this, so I can still get rid of it and draw a card at the same time. So not too bad. Next turn, I have eight. So, I could. Oh, Storm and Champion. Nicely played. Right, this isn't going too well for me. Right, so I can play my Storm and Champion, or I can play everything else. Hmm. You know what, I'm actually gonna play the Blood Imp. And then the Storm and Champion gets something nice and big out. And it buffs my Flame Imp up so that it won't trade evenly, or comfortably, with any one of these. Yeah, I'm on low health now, I need to... Ugh, please don't hit my Flame Imp. 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 Please, please don't hit my Flame Imp. That's, that's all I... That's what I'm asking for Christmas. That's the present I want for Christmas, even though it isn't even Christmas yet. Don't hit my Flame Imp. There's a 1 in 3 shot it'll hit my Flame Imp. Please don't. Unless you have no other minions. Oh, maybe they don't have any other minions. Hmm. Next turn, I'll probably Dark Iron Dwarf and Azure Drake. Not in that order, of course. You should always play your Azure Drake first because you draw a card and you might change your plan after getting it. Wait, what are you doing? Oh. Wait, do you have something to... Oh, they left my Storm and Champion alive. I guess they're looking for a way to get rid of it. Oh! Damn it, I wish that hit me. Still, though, at least it didn't hit the 6 1. Ooh, my Blood M could get his health up. Not that it matters, because it would still die to anything there. Okay. Well, nothing has taunt. That's a good thing. However, if I don't defend myself from what they have on the board, I'm probably going to die. Let's just put this out there and see what card I get. Hmm. That's pretty crap against pretty much anything they have. Do I use my Dark Iron Dwarf just to get 8 damage instead of 6? It's gonna die next turn, there's no doubt about that. Nothing else really makes any sense. Or 
or do I put it on my Azir Drake in the hopes that it will stay alive? I'm actually going to use it on my Azir Drake. I think that makes more sense, because it's more likely to actually get use there. Well, does it? I mean, the Knife Juggler has Divine Shield. So they'd actually only have to sacrifice one creature to kill it. I, uh, that might not have been the right play. Ooh, Sword of Justice. That's actually quite nice. Uh, you're hoping it would hit the, the Stormwind Champion. Reporting for duty. Holy crap. Oh boy. <laughs> Everything's being buffed. However, they didn't do any damage to me, other than with the sword, which is not really meant for doing damage. Siphon Soul. There's really nothing worth a Siphon Soul, but then again, if I don't kill this stuff, I'm gonna die. Six, seven, eight, nine. They have lethal next turn. And I certainly do not have lethal. In any way. So, I need to kill stuff. Like, super, super bad. So. What do I do? Well, I guess I just siphon soul on the most powerful thing. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So many possibilities. Ah, <sighs> great. Yeah, just kind of remove damage from the board. All right, so we're kind of top decking at this point, almost. That's that's my one advantage. I have one more card, and I also have card draw. And oh god, that's not good. That is really not good. Oh. The vendor of Argus. Not exactly what I was going for, but. They'll have to do. Unfortunately, if I play this, I lose my Defender of Argus, and if I play this, my Succubus doesn't get the plus one, plus one. Which blows. Anyway, let's card draw first. Ooh. Ooh. That's quite nice. Actually, that is quite nice. It's going to be buffed up above five. Or above four, I mean. What the? Oh, uh, it's that stupid bug where it switches places. It still applied it correctly to the adjacent minions, but it just actually popped up in the wrong spot. Very annoying. And I might as well play this. Because it's not going to discard anything. And I'm just going to wait. Yeah, so they'd have to sacrifice, well, they'd have to use their Fen Creeper and their Silverhand Recruit to take out my Voidwalker, and that would leave the Silverhand Recruit dead and the Fen Creeper almost dead. Ooh, never mind. Reporting for duty. Destroy a demon. <laughs> That's not something I want to be doing right now. I just need cards. Ooh. That is a good card to have right now. Hmm. How do I take you out? 
I'd have to sacrifice both. Which is probably what I should do. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna leave you in stealth. Yeah. Hmm. This game's gotten a bit... a bit close. There's really no telling where it's gonna go from here. I not terribly effective. They do have a lot of things on the board, though. <laughs> Look at them dancing. Switching places. Uh, that's not exactly what I wanted. You're not supposed you're a demon, dark scale healer? No, you're not. Alright, I need a card. Ooh. 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 Ooh! I could Cobalt Geomancer and Soulfire to kill that. I like it. I like it a lot. In fact, I like it so much, I'm going to do it right now. Stop moving around, you stupid minions. Stay put. Uh, do I want to destroy a minion? Do I want to destroy my Blood Imp? For 5 health, I kind of need it, but... Uh, I don't know. Well, I know I'm going to do this, so I'll just do that. Oh, no. Wait, I was holding... Oh, wow, that was stupid. Hmm. <clears throat> didn't happen. Didn't happen. Don't think about it. Didn't happen. The very thing I was contemplating, I just totally forgot. Whoops. Didn't happen. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the right play there was, anyway. So, yeah, which one's worth more? The Blood Imp or 5 health? With only 4 health left, I, I don't know. It's hard for me to say. I think I would have kept my Blood Imp anyway. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot that the taunt is nullified when you have a stealth creature, so they actually can attack anyone they want. And they can't kill my Cobalt Geomancer. Let me think. Okay. Hmm. Do I want the life tap? <laughs> uh, that would leave me with one hit point. No, I, I certainly wonder. don't. Stop moving around. I'm just going to leave it. They can do two damage. Uh, should I kill one of them? I think I should kill one of them. I know they can kill my Blood Imp. But the important thing is they can't hit me. This is such a... This is not going well for me. Like, I can't even believe I'm still alive. Okay, am I just dead at this point? Uh, I guess not. I'm not dead yet. I can't... The thing is, I can't go for them. I have to kill their minions because I'm so low on health. It's a bad position to be in. Alright, it doesn't really matter which order I do this in. Three hit points. Uh, what have you got? Is it... And 
deal damage equal to its... Oh, it was a 7 coster. <laughs> well played. <laughs> draw a card and do damage equal to its cost. Yeah, pretty much any card you could draw there would have killed me. That was a painful game. Alright, 1-1. One, one. Like I said, if I can get to 3 wins, I'm happy. Ah, oh, come on, it's only a Saturday night. There's got to be more people playing. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Worthy opponent. Gul'dan versus Jaina. You asked for it. Your soul shall be mine. Sacrificial Pact. I don't like you, so no, I don't want you. Mortal Coil, yes. Flame Imp, yes. So turn one Flame Imp, no doubt about that. Ooh, I could even activate the Mortal Coil on the Raging Organ if I wanted to. If I want to. <laughs> Great! I got the Sacrificial Pact back. Lovely. Coining. What are you coining? You seriously coin that? Just to do one damage? Okay. Hmm. I wonder. You know, I think now is the almost the perfect time to sacrificial pact, because this is just gonna die next turn. So, let's attack with it. I mean, I'm not going to get all of the health back. But... Uh, I could if I life tap and then use it. Which might be the way to go. Or I can get my spell damage out. No, no. Yeah, I'm going to get a card. And then do this. Kind of a weird play, but next turn I can Cobalt Geomancer and Mortal Coil in the same turn, so I can still use the spell damage. I might not even need to. I could just straight up Mortal Coil that. Should I? I feel like I should. Let's see what I get. I mean, it's gonna give them a card too, of course, because of the death rattle. Shadow Bolt, okay. Hmm. More cards or Cobalt Geomancer? I'm gonna go with more cards. Oh, huh. I can do the Cobalt Geomancer Mortal Coil combo again. Can't be targeted by spells or hero powers. Can Mortal Coil that. The Raging Worgen's actually not a bad play if they... Oh no, never mind. Yeah, it is. The Fairy Dragon would just cancel it out. Huh. Okay. There's really not much I can do here. So many possibilities. All right, let's let's life that. And I guess just Cobalt Geomancer just to get something out on the board. I mean, anything they would attack would kill it. Or I mean, yeah, they would just cancel each other out. So not not bad. 
I mean, the Worgen Infiltrator would would be killing a two-coster for only a one-coster, so obviously that's a in their in their favor. We must cleanse the <sighs> well. <laughs> and I still can't even shadow bolt that thing because I can't target it. What an obnoxious bastard! I think I'm just gonna be Fen creepering here. Oh my god. I have no AoEs. Other than my... What the hell's that thing called? The Demon, the Infernal, whatever that does one damage to everything? I think it's just Fen Creeper. could mortal coil that, but then I couldn't be able to play my Fen Creeper. Yeah. Alright, that should absorb at least two creatures. Assuming they don't have some sort of a damage spell. Which they probably do. They have a lot of cards after all. So, next turn. What to do? There's a lot of stuff I can do. Oh, shit. That's not good. That's really not good. Oh, I hope I can get to three wins with this deck. Alright, I'm going to do this just to see what I get. Oh, another Defender of Argus. Cool. And... Let's do that. And that. Got a super buffed Worgen Infiltrator. Of course, they can still just attack past me, which is probably what they're going to do. <sighs> I think I've life-tapped myself into the ground. So much for early pressure, again. That mirror image card is really good. Oh, no. Ah, at least if it attacks my Defender of Argus or anything, it's still going to die. Yeah, that's what I would do. In fact, I'm probably dead next turn. Yeah, so I kind of need to remove, like, everything from their board to survive. Maybe double Shadow Bolt. I wonder. Hmm. <laughs> right, well, let's do this. Oh, that's right, there's a fucking taunt. God damn it. Okay. This is really, really bad. So many possibilities. Into the breach. And I can't target that thing, of course. Not a valid target. Double Defender of Argus. Yeah, just need to protect myself. And of course, I have to keep in mind that one Pyroblast will kill me. A single Pyroblast will kill me.
Hmm. Well, that would kill the Dark Scale Healer. Maybe I should just clear the board. So many possibilities. Right. So I could kill the questing kill the questing adventure and kill the fairy dragon, leaving this. Alright. So many possibilities. Yeah. First Let's go these. Do that. I'm gonna save my demon fire. I don't think there's any reason to play it this turn. They might have a hex, in which case it would be wasted. And next turn I'll have 9 mana, so I could still play the Demon Fire plus the Storm and Champion in the same turn, so there's really not much of a reason to hold on to it. I mean, not much of a reason to play it. Alright, I can kill that Water Elemental with Shadow Bolt and Demon Fire. And I might have to, because I need to prevent myself from being killed. Like, super, super bad. And I have absolutely no taunt. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. That'll leave me with four mana. I can play a chill one deity. It's a lot of cards to burn for one creature. I'm just going to ignore that thing for now. At this point, if I'm going to die, it's going to be... Don't tell me that's a secret. Oh, great. If I'm going to die, it's going to be because of a Pyroblast, so it doesn't really particularly matter whether I'm at 7 health or 5. Right. Pretty sure I'm dead. Well, I need to kill everything they have. Wait a minute, am I, am I just dead? No, but I can reduce their damage potential to three. I need to kill these two, leaving two here and... One with the fire blast. <laughs> this is not going well. So many possibilities. Yeah, I don't see any other possibility. Like Storm and Champion's the way to go here. Means are always a snapjaw. I won't be able to take out anything I have, so I have immense po damage potential on the board. In fact, I probably have lethal. However, I need to survive this next turn. And of course, I'm gonna do stuff like that. Alright, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. Hold on, hold on. Hold do I have lethal? I don't know what the secret is, though. It might be the one that prevents lethal. I, I can't wait, though. I need to... Hold on. Shit. No, I'm gonna die. I, I need to try to kill them right now, because the Fire Blast will kill me next turn. I so. So. What I need to do... Five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
Not... Okay, assuming this isn't the secret that is gonna do something crazy, I can kill them. Let's find out. Alright, this will trigger the Enrage. Wind Fury. What is that? Okay... Do I have no damage potential after this? Oh, I don't, do I? Oh. Normally I'd concede, but after all that, just... And with one health, just just kill me. <laughs> I'll, gi I'll, I'll give you the, the satisfaction. There we go. Well done. <laughs> if it weren't for that ice barrier, I would have had it. Oh, man. Am I actually going to finish 1-3? That would be so sad. Early pressure. I'm doing so good with that, aren't I? <laughs> oh, Warlock. I don't understand you. I felt like I built a decent deck. Maybe I didn't, or maybe I did, but I'm just misplaying it. I don't know. Hmm. Well, this might be one of my only arena run videos that's not going to be two hours long. No, your soul shall be mine. Hmm. Good shadow bolt. Uh. Not a bad starting hand. Do I want shadow bolt this early? Not really. Demon fire. I'll actually keep that, because I have the Cobalt Geomancer, so that becomes a 3 damage removal spell. Oh, and I have the Cobalt Geomancer uh, Mortal Coil combo, which I can do on turn 2. Which I think is a pretty damn good play, I like it. Or I could Worgen Infiltrator and Blood Imp. Nah, I'll wait. Yeah, so turn two, um, I might Cobalt Geomancer and then coin the Mortal Coil. If I play something that has two health. Wait, oh wait, I can't target it! Ugh. That thing's such a pain in the ass. It's a good card. I like it. I greet you. Right. Right. Cobalt Geomancer is a bad play. Well, actually, no, it's not terrible. It would cancel that out. I think instead, though... I want to save this Cobalt Geomancer for the Mortal Coil combo, so I'm gonna... Still, and then I'm gonna coin my Hero Power, which is kind of a weird thing to do, I guess. But... I want more cards. Look at all my stealth. I hope you like my invention. All right, so that's going to be the couple Geomancer Mortal Coil combo right there. Do you need a blessing? Please don't give the novice engineer the health. <gasps> oh, thank God. Yeah, it's pretty much the only thing I can do. I think it's worth taking out the Young Priestess probably right about now. Hmm. Maybe I don't even need to pay attention to the Novice Engineer. Should I even pay attention to it? Maybe I shouldn't. The Young Priestess, though, definitely. No doubt about that. One coster for one coster. Not a bad trade. Alright, let's do it. Mm. I do want the card draw. I'm gonna do it. I'm 
I mean, of course, I used a card to get a card, but it also takes something of theirs off the field at the same time and replaces itself, so that's pretty good. I want to get some value out of this Cobalt Geomancer before it dies, which it's going to do right now. <laughs> they lost a one coster. That's pretty good. Ooh. Ooh. Destroy a demon. It doesn't say destroy a friendly demon. I can kill that succubus <laughs> and get five health at no cost. I feel bad for them. <laughs> you don't normally get to do that, but it's another warlock, so I got really lucky. I think just chill with Yeti. Yeah. And I'm not going to suicide my Blood Imp. It's more valuable there. I'll take three additional damage. I'm fine with that. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be kidding me! Oh. It's a pretty good card. If you don't have anything that can, anything that can remove it. And I don't think I do. Well, hold on. Well, Shadow Bolt. Hmm. Five, six. Hmm. So I can Shadow Bolt and Demon Fire it. I wonder. Which is kind of what I want to do. It's two cards for one, but it does get it off the board. I'm going to do it. I'm leaving three damage potential on the board, but I have four, so I'm gonna win, right? Yeah, I don't think it works like that. Not exactly. Oh, you're gonna suicide it. Oh. Okay. I definitely have a card disadvantage here. Do I just throw up a taunt? It would trade nicely with it. Because it wouldn't die, it would still have two health left, and the injured Blade Master would die. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Go ahead, attack me. See what happens. Oh. Well, that changes things. Chose not to attack. Okay. So I could Azir Drake and Cobalt Geomancer. The thing is, at the moment, they would still have to use both of their people to attack my Fen Creeper, so I think I should just go straight for them. Yeah, all right, so let's see what card we get. Flame Imp. Ooh. I like it. And I don't, at the moment, I don't have anything that would actually benefit from the additional spell damage, and I can always put it out next turn if I do get something. So let's go with that. Let's get some damage potential on the board, and let's smack him in the face. Next turn, I can Storm and Champion, or... Cobalt Geomancer and Defender Vargas. Oh, Mortal Coil, right? Oh. I thought they had a Mortal Coil to deal with that. Voidwalker. 
could protect my damage pool even more, and get the Storm and Champion out at the same time, which is probably the thing to do. It would only absorb one hit, though. Which means my Flame Imp is going to die, of course. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I'm going to do it, though. I'm not sure about card placement, either. Minion placement. I don't really know. Actually, I don't even think it matters against a Warlock. I almost want to sacrifice my Blood Imp. It would only leave them with a... Ooh. Should I? Mm, uh, no. I, I don't know. It would only leave them with the ability to attack with one person so they could just get through my Voidwalker. But then I would still have 10 damage potential on the board. I don't know. I just feel like I'm going to get more value out of this, because it's going to apply to every single thing I play in the future. Okay. Okay. Let's hope I get some removal here. Oh, they're not attacking. Okay. Interesting. Yo, I heard you like taunts. Actually, I probably should have done that over here so my Flame Imp could kill the Sentient Shield Master. <laughs> That's kind of a stupid place to put it. Hmm. Kind of a really stupid place to put it, actually. Kind of, kind of really stupid. Now I have to use my Storm and Champion to take down this Engine Shield Master. Whoops. Why did I do that? I don't know. I didn't even think about it. Anyway. Let's go ahead and fill up the board. Guess I'll knock you down. Alright, I have a big and scary board, but they have a lot of cards, and I don't. Wait, what? Why did you use... Why didn't you use your Gnomish Inventor to kill it? You face Jaraxxus and an Lord! <laughs> Jaraxxus in Arena? I did not expect that. Holy crap. It replaces their hero with Jaraxxus. You face Jaraxxus! Okay, it's big and scary, but don't I have lethal? <laughs> well played, I guess I do. Do I? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I do. <laughs> oh. I did not expect that. Well played. It didn't win them the game at all, but that was hilarious, and that was a wonderful finish. And totally unexpected. Bravo. Jaraxxus in the arena. You know, Jaraxxus is hilarious. If I ever see that card in arena, I'm gonna have to take it. Like, you have to. Come on. It's hilarious. <laughs> Jaraxxus. I was dumbstruck when they played it. I just thought, what? <laughs> what are the chances of getting Jaraxxus in the random card you're presented with in Arena. That is amazing. Bravo for the good show. They didn't win, but they put on a damn good show. 2-2. Two, two. Alright, might win as many as I lose. 3-3, three, three, the dream. I did not expect to see Jaraxxus in an arena. Uh. Gul'dan! Jaina! You asked for it. Your soul shall be mine! Hmm. It's not bad. I want the Raging Worgen and the Mortal Coil. Uh. 
Uh, give her to the Dark Iron Dwarf. Do I want the Raging Organ or do I want to try for an Imp? Nah, let's keep him. Alright, not the greatest. Well, I think I'll just end my turn here. I greet you. Hello. <laughs> Storm and Champion. Exactly what I wanted. Let's get a new card. Ooh. That'll be nice. Next turn I can play that plus uh, plus nothing. Well, it would absorb. Ooh. It would absorb the attacks from the knife juggler. And then I could mortal coil it. Which would be nice. Or I could just shadow bolt it. No, let's save that for something bigger. Yeah, let's just do this. So I'm hoping they run themselves into my Voidwalker. Which will get them down to one health, and then I can Mortal Coil it. Yep, do it, do it, do it! Yeah! They're probably gonna plop down some minions and hope to hit the Flame Imp. Ooh, nice. And they're, yep, they're gonna playing it off. Okay. Fair enough. Alright. Actually, now would be a perfect time to play, play my Raging Worgen. But hold on, let's see what we get first. Yeah, let's play it. Okay, so yeah, I can just attack the Raging Worgen into the Mana Worm, which would kill it, and enrage it. My Raging Worgen. Or they could just Frostbolt it, never mind. So much for that plan. The Mana Worm grows. I think just Azure Drake. Yeah. Alright, so next turn I can Stampeding Kodo to kill it. Assuming they don't play another spell that buffs it up. Please don't. Please don't play another spell. <laughs> My entire plan will be ruined. Is that a spell? That's a spell, isn't it? Yeah. God damn it. Hmm. Oh, yeah. The coin is a spell, too. That's right. Alright. I think I'm just going to Shadow Bolt that thing. It's kind of growing out of control. Which would leave me with mana enough to do... God, I'm taking so much damage already. Alright, fuck that thing. Just die. Demolisher? Yes, Demolisher. <laughs> Not another one. <sighs> that is not what I wanted you to hit. Okay. Well, my Stampeding Kodo could kill it, but that only leaves me two mana to play with, which won't do much of anything. Shit, what do I do? <sighs> so many possibilities. I kind of want to just storm in champion. Just get something big and scary out.
It does mean they would have to sacrifice both of their creatures to kill it. By it, I mean the Demolisher. I, I didn't like any of my other plays. Alright, so next turn... Yeah. Alright, next turn I can Stampede Kodo and Shadow Bolt. Restored your own health, but not your yetis. Huh. I'm not sure I would have done the same. Yeah, I think Shadow Bolt and Stampede and Kodo is probably the way to go. Leaves them with three damage potential on the board, but that's not terrible. I'll take it. On the other hand, I could Defender, defender of Argus. Nah. Can't do that. <laughs> Another Polymorph. Great. I think just Shilwind Yeti, Defender of Argus, and Worgen Infiltrator just throw a bunch of stuff out. Where do I want to put you? I guess here. Yeah, I need to protect myself. And just go straight for him. Beat yourself up against my gigantic walls. God, I hope they don't have a flame strike. <laughs> uh, hope they don't have a flame strike. Famous last words. Still, though, they do have to sacrifice their entire board, so not terrible. Still, they have a card advantage. And a health advantage. Oh, crap. It's kind of dangerous to do this when there's such a thing as... Pyroblast, but... Uh, should I life tap? I kind of think I need to. Ah, <sighs> well, I have removal. Alright, I don't know what I'm going to lose, but I need something on the board. Alright, that's fine. As long as I have the one that can get rid of the big scary stuff, because I'm probably going to have to. Yeah. We have many secrets. Don't have a secret. Don't have a secret. Good, you don't have a secret. Ooh, that's nice. Wait a minute. Do I want a life tap? So many possibilities. What does a pyroblast cost? Could they could they pyroblast and fireblast in the same turn? I don't remember. Well, it doesn't it doesn't even matter. I can't kill everything they have on the board anyway. So I'm just gonna do it. Hmm. Now I can kill everything they have on the board, I think. So let me make sure I'm doing this right. Yeah, so now I can kill that, and we'll stay alive. Wait. Destroy many, restore th three health to your hero, yep. Okay. I think I played that in the right order. Uh, 
And they can't kill me with a pyroblast. Hmm. <laughs> well, whoop de doo I can kill my own blood imp. Should I do that? It's actually probably the right thing to do. Alright, let's do this first. I need cards. Ooh. Interesting. Oh god, I can't even play that! It's just gonna enrage the worgen and allow it to do eight damage. Fuck! I can't play it. So many possibilities. Mm. I could pop off the Divine Shield or I could use Sacrificial Pact. Which one's more valuable? Right now, I need health. Red Infernal of all of all things, right when there's a raging worgen. Dear God. Oh yeah. They have that. <laughs> okay, I think I've lost. Not necessarily though. Maybe I'll get something good. Okay. Well. Let's see what that gets me. I don't have the mana to play that. Let's see what this gets me. Nope. Well played. Ah. So, I finished 2-3. <laughs> the first time that I've, in the arena, that I've ever won less than I've lost. Well, I guess the answer to how well can I play Warlock, given that I've never played them before, is not very well. Let's see what my grand reward is. What do I get for two wins? Do I get a note saying, you tried, good job. You're below average, congratulations, whoa. That is far better than I could have ever expected. 50 gold in a pack, that basically replaces the value of what I just spent on the arena. Actually, it exactly replaces it. Because it costs 150 gold to get into the arena, and one pack of cards costs 100. So, 100 plus 50 is 150. Wow. They really did restructure the rewards for the arena, didn't they? Alright, let's see what's in it. Neat cards. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed watching me completely fail at playing a warlock, and I will be back soon, hopefully with less failure next time. But we'll see. You never know what will happen.